have you always hit always lived here um, in Rome? Yes. Okay. Um, do you have any idea, or could you tell me a little bit about how your family ended up here? Um, both of my parents are actually from Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. And my aunt had moved here just with her husband. I'm not sure the full story there, but they decided when they were going to have children, they did not want to raise them in a city. So they came down here, decided they would give it a whirl, liked the atmosphere, liked the community, and said, we'll just stay here. <laughs> huh. Well, there you go. You, you kind of have a good backstory there. there. That's pretty neat. Um, um, well, for me, um, I'm not from Rome. Um, I'm actually from a very, very small town in Alabama called Rainburn. Um, and it still to this day does not even have a, um, I think they have recently gotten a, uh, a caution light at the school. Um, so still to this day does not have a, an actual traffic light. So, um, very, very small town. Um, but right now, um, I actually live in Somerville, Georgia, and I live, I'm a renter, and I live in a, a ranch-style brick home with my husband. Um, could you tell me uh, what kind of home that you live in? Ours is, I want to say a split level is what mm-hmm. it's called. Okay. Um, when you come in the front door, you can go up the stairs, and then we have our main living area, dining room, kitchen three bedroom, two bath, and then when you go down the stairs, you can go to the garage, there's another bedroom you could possibly do, office area, and then a, a den area. Okay. I, not much about building, so I'm sorry. Okay. That's what it's called. There you go. That's totally <laughs> fine. Um, so do you have rooftop solar for your home? We do not. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, tell me why you don't have rooftop solar for your home, and was this something, um, did you guys make that decision, or was that something that was made for you? Well, it was kind of made for me, but I really never thought about rooftop solar, <laughs> honestly. Okay. So just something that you've never really thought about before, but so if you had the option, would you put rooftop solar on your home? I would consider it, yes. Okay. So why, why would you consider it? Just because I know you can't depend on the energy that we have currently the way it is. You want different options like wind and solar to be able to help not just the cost, but be better and more efficient for the environment. Okay. All right. Now we're going to kind of switch gears just a little bit. Um, I'd like to talk a little bit about rooftop solar adoption in general. So here's a map of the United States. You've got that pin there. Um, so, where do you think people have the most rooftop solar energy on their homes? And then, could you just kind of draw that on the map for me? Most. Ooh. That is a good question. You want me to label, like, each state or, like, just the area? You can do an area. That's okay. fine. I would say I have to say, like, Okay. Okay. So, More kind Midwest. of... Midwest. Okay. So, the Midwest. So, um... What do you think makes this community or this area so different from people here in Georgia? Probably their landscaping. They have more flat land, not as many mountainous areas, not as many trees. Okay. To give it, I I would say give it more area to where you're not going to block the sun, so you're going to get more of that energy versus someplace like where we are, where we do have various mountains and lots of trees. Okay. All right. So kind of the landscape Mm -hmm. is kind of what makes it different there. Um, okay. Um, so now we're going to talk a little bit about, um, Georgia. And so in what community in Georgia do you think people have the most rooftop solar on their homes? That's a good idea. Oh boy. I guess I'd say south. More south than anywhere else. Okay. And what makes people from South Georgia, so different from people here in in Georgia, or in the North Georgia area? I don't think of them being different, but if I had to nail something down, probably more, I would say if you went past Macon, they're more fast-paced, more into the city life, more as they kind of slowed it down in South Georgia. They're kind of thinking about farming, little other things. They're not thinking about, I got to get to Atlanta for a meeting in an hour kind of thing. Right. Okay. All right. Um, What about most of your close friends here in Georgia? Do they have solar on their roof? No. Okay. Why do you think they don't? I don't think they really thought about it either. Okay. I'd probably have one that probably has thought about it. I wouldn't know why she wouldn't have considered it yet, but. Okay. 
why do you think she might have? Because she's, she's really into the environment, but I know she does composting. She does her own gardening. Um, I think she does some other stuff, too, but I couldn't nail it down exactly. But she's probably has thought about it. Okay. But that's kind of one you said the majority probably yeah. just haven't thought about it. Okay. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to add? That's yeah. it. Okay. All right.